Good morning. Again, Stefan Heger, Switzerland. Reading to you from the second chapter of Mark, the New International Reader's Version, where Jesus eats with tax collectors and sinners. <coughs> Verse 13 onwards, we read that once again Jesus went out beside the Sea of Galilee. A large crowd came to him. He began to teach them. As he walked along, he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus. Levi was sitting at the tax collector's booth. Levi is also called Matthew, the one who wrote the other gospel. Jesus said, follow me. He told him. Levi got up and followed him. Later, Jesus was having a dinner at Levi's house. Many tax collectors and sinners were eating with him and his disciples. They were part of the large crowd following Jesus. Are you a follower of Jesus, my dear friend, on Facebook? Are you part of the crowd or are you part of a disciple who wants to be like Jesus? It's worth it. Jesus says you can do even greater things than I do if you have faith in me. So, some teachers of the law who were Pharisees, they were there. Remember the Pharisees were the ones opposing Jesus, they didn't like him. They saw Jesus eating with sinners and tax collectors. Tax collectors were working for the Romans, they were the very low caste, they were not righteous people, they were cheaters and thieves. But Jesus sat with them. So they asked his disciples, the Pharisees asked, why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus heard that. So he said to them, those who are healthy don't need a doctor. Sick people do. I have not come to get those who think they are right with God to follow me. I have come to get sinners to follow me. Are you a righteous person or are you a sinner? Your heart tells you. Let's read on. John's disciples and the Pharisees were getting going without eating. Some people came to Jesus. They said to him, John's disciples are fasting. The disciples of the Pharisees are also fasting. Are you fasting in these days? You disciples are not. Why aren't they fasting? was the question. Jesus answered, verse 19, how can the guests of the groom go without eating while he is with them? They will not fast as long as he is with them. But the time will come when the groom will be taken away from them. On that day they will go without eating. So there's a time to eat right now. And there is also a time to fast. But when the bridegroom is there, there is the wedding going on, nobody's fasting. When the bridegroom is missing and you are in trouble, you need an answer from God. You go into fasting, right? People don't sew a patch of new cloth on old cloth. If they do, the Bible says, the new piece will pull away from the old. Look at this. That will make the tear worse. People don't put new wine into old wine skins. Look, if they do, if they do, the wine skin 
will burst the skin. Then the vine and the vine skin will both be destroyed. No, everyone pours new wine into new wine skin.